So Mary says, I am using Microsoft Outlook and noticed that the Zoom icon at the top menu to create a meeting invite was removed and I can't see it anymore. Did it any, does anyone here know how to put it back? Well, the answer to that is, uh, first of all, do you wind up by any chance having a Teams meeting showing in its place? And the reason I ask for that is because both Zoom and Teams are responsible for putting those little start of Zoom meetings, start of Teams meeting, start of this, start of that. Uh, they do that as add-ins that they add to Outlook. Uh, the thing to do to start off with is to go into your uh, add-ins menu and see if A, they're there, and B, who's got the, who's got the floor? I mean, are they both turned on? Uh, maybe one of them is interfering with the other. I can tell you for a fact that when Teams is around, Teams does like to take charge because I've got, I've got a situation here for where, where, I, where I occasionally I'll have a Teams meeting going, and then uh, there's a Zoom meeting that starts up, let's say a half hour before the Teams meeting starts. I have got one of these fancy uh, e-posts. Let's talk to Teams. It's a meeting type headset, and I mean it's not. It's a, it's a Bluetooth, but they have their own language that they speak. I have a dongle plugged in down here. And trying to figure out who gets precedence in a, in a case like that is often an interesting struggle to see which one of them to win. In this particular case, like if you get Teams, maybe you put it in and it it uh, pops the zoom out because I'm Teams and I'm better, or maybe something else comes along and pops that out, or maybe you reinstall Zoom and it it pops the Teams out and says I was here first. Is it also uh, case that's where you look? It's in the add-ins. Yeah, isn't it also a case if if you have your system is centrally managed, if it's if it's not you that controls which apps, if the organization says hey, that's we're not entirely support possible zoom, as well. Yeah, because that could be another thing. If it's centrally managed, yeah. uh, your 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 work laptop or your work desktop, and they control which exactly. apps, they may have removed it. Exactly, and that's that's the case that I really wasn't looking at. I I tend to approach things from the consumer standpoint more than yeah. I do from the the big business Enterprise. standpoint. Yeah. Because again, the people that me and the people that I work with deal with are, are our biggest client is a, a little over a hundred people, and there are a lot of them are like fifteen and twenty twenty souls in an organization. Yeah. So uh, the the game changes. Yeah, it changes. Well, that that so that's something though. I mean, it could be that they do some other update, and it could have wiped out those applications. So to your point, Hal, if you don't see it within the applications as as installed, you can always try reinstalling it and see if it as the app and it should reappear. Um, but then again, if it's well, the conflict between the apps, like I I don't know if that's still the thing, case. And, and, and another thing, going to the port the point that you just made, if that's a uh, if that's a click to run subscription type in uh, setup, you always there's a nice little tool that you can find uh, down in the, the the bowels of the Outlook folder uh, that will allow you to change the client level to pretty much anything that you want. You can determine that by looking at uh, uh, Microsoft puts out a built-in of all the updated versions. Uh, historical versions that they've done. And if something malfunctions in the version that you're in, you can always do this to revert to the prior version. I mean, I had to have to do that yeah. myself a while back where I had a condition where they pulled a, an update to Outlook that uh, would cause it to, I bring it up and it would start to work and it would last for maybe 10 or 15 seconds and then shut itself down. And it wasn't nothing I could do with that, reverted it to the prior version. It worked just fine, reported that. And it's like, oh yeah, we did do that. Sorry, we'll fix it. Yeah. So a lot of that can be, you know, make sure you're on the, the most current version. Always good or, advice. Or if you're on the current version and you have the problem, yeah, Revert back. reverting back. <laughs> exactly. Or yeah. if you're in an insider channel, here's another little tip. You can go from 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 the beta to the uh, to the uh, release, the, the standard release channel. That's that's an easy back and forth if you're if you're running the beta, the uh, insider insider version.